So today I'm bringing you guys five viral music video effects inside of After Effects. Make sure you guys stay to the very end because absolutely every single one of these are bangers. You do not want to miss one of them but let's hop right into this starting off at number five we have bringing 3d inside of after effects which you can do super easily now we're going to go ahead on sketchfab here where you can look up any 3d model and download it for free we're then going to go down to this button right here keep in mind you could like move it around and see it we're going to go down and click on download 3d model here and then we're going to download the .glb file don't download anything else except the glb now once you have the glb downloaded all you're going to do is drag and drop it inside of after effects here and hit OK. OK again. And the iPhone is inside of here. It's just really big, which you can change by opening this arrow right here, opening transform, and then either playing around with the position by sending it to the back, the Z space, the very last one here, pulling it to the right, or you could play with the scale as well. And if you go to the orientation too, you can move the entire thing around and set keyframes for everything and track it to your footage and all that cool stuff. After Effects in 3D is super fire. Make sure you guys check this out and use it on your projects. Now moving on to number four, we have this really cool clone effect that you can do on white background shots like this. Shout out Asim, he definitely inspired me to do this. So what you want to do is click on your video clip at the bottom here and you're going to press duplicate, uh, let's just say once for now. We're going to double click on that and then we're going to go up to our Ruta brush tool up here in the top left. And holding option and scrolling in, what you could do is just paint around him. You guys should know how to roto brush by now. If you guys ever get this error, it just says the composition doesn't match the FPS. Just go up composition settings and turn it to 23.976, the exact thing it says here. If we hit OK, it'll then change and we could properly roto brush now. So we're going to go ahead and line out Young Fazo. You can see perfectly just like that, he's cut out. Now all you have to do is go back into composition and then if we click and drag him around, you guys can see that we have a duplicate of him. So we can duplicate the duplicate by pressing Control D and bringing another one here. And then let's duplicate him two more time or one more time. Press S to change the scale and we'll make this one bigger and put him like right here. And then duplicate this one and we'll put him like right here. Looks super sick. And you can move them around, add flickers, all that stuff. Really shut out the seam. He put me under this effect through his newest video. I just had to show you guys as well. To make it even sicker, if you hit new, go down to adjustment layer. You can then go into effects and presets and put something like optics compensation. You drag and drop that on the adjustment layer and we turn that up here. You guys can see we get this kind of distortion effect. Now go in and reverse the distortion. And if we turn it up, you guys can see it kind of pulls on the edges a bit. I think that looks way cleaner, as you guys can see there. And now if we go and put on a radio blur, and just turn that down a little bit. You guys can see we get a little bit more distortion here. And it looks super fire. All right, guys. So next up at three, we have Shake Sauce 2, which if you didn't know is out now. You guys can grab it linked below for absolutely free for the first week. Just make sure you guys use code tapes when you're checking out. And you'll get it for free for seven days. Shake Sauce 2 is so much crazier than V1 here. I'm just going to go ahead and close this. It's actually insane. You can create custom shakes that you can then export, send to your friends, or sell through your Instagram. If someone wants, oh, what's that shake? Da, 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 da. You can sell them the preset that they can then add. So there's ways you can make money off of Shake Sauce, which is insane. So inside of here, we have the constant shake, which are all of these. If you hover over, you can see the preview on here. Or we have the keyframed ones, which will be used as transitions. So we're going to take this Molly Santana music video as an example. All you have to do is just put your playhead in between the two clips right here where you want to transition. And we're going to go ahead and click on one of these here. Let's do sideways. And we're going to go ahead and click on that and then hit the check mark. And boom, you guys can see instantly it's applied. So if I go and play it, you make a nigga. You make a we get nigga. a clean transition just like that. And let's go to the next one here. So for this one, let's go on Twitch. I like this one a lot too. So we're going to hit the check mark on Twitch. And if I play this through, Super clean, guys. And then if we move on to pump here, for example, we're going to hit the check mark, and you guys can see instantly it looks super clean. Do you want to see the actual keyframe? Just hit U on your keyboard, and you can drag them around. And make sure these red ones is right in the center of your clip. And that is Shake Sauce 2 for you guys. If you guys want to check it out, you can grab it down below. Use code TAPES to get seven days for absolutely free. Go check it out. It's free. All right, guys, moving on to our second one now. We're going to be taking a look at this night vision slash like really cool look you can create inside of After Effects super easily. So we're going to go ahead and search tint. We're going to drag and drop that on our clip right here. 
Now, the way tint works is it basically changes all the blacks to one color and all the whites to one color, pretty much black and white here. But if you wanted to change all the whites to a different color, like, like red, for example, you'll get something that looks like this and pretty much all the colors in the rainbow you can change it to so you guys can immediately see this is a super cool night vision look and we're going to expand on it by going and searching up grain here go and click add grain now with add grain you want to go to viewing mode and under preview change it to final output and you guys can see the grain looks a lot more real here compared to like you get it so if we go ahead and turn the intensity up you guys can see we get a lot more of like a security camera look here totally up to you on the grain percentage that you want to add but then if we go ahead and add something like deep glow, or if you don't have deep glow, just regular after effects glow, you guys can see we get a really crazy look. And once again, you can go and change these colors to whatever you want. Let's say you want to go for like a red look, or you just want to go for like a black and white look like this. That grain really adds like really creative colors here, as you guys can see. That's a super unique stylized look you can add to like B-roll or just to add a little bit more texture to your videos. All right, and moving on to our very last one here, we're gonna be covering how to make crazy 3D text and titles inside of Element 3D, inside of After Effects. Now, if you don't have Element 3D, I still recommend watching this. It's something I highly recommend you guys grab as a music video director and editor. It's a super fire plugin that allows you to create 3D effects super easily. All you have to do is go under new. You're gonna create a new solid right here and just call this Element. And all you have to do if you have it is search up element inside of here and drag and drop it on the solid. Now we're going to create a super fire title sequence. Now you're going to go up to the text tool up here, click it, and let's type title just like so. And you're going to turn that off just with the eyedropper button. Now going inside of element, we're going to hit custom layers, go down to custom text and masks. And under path layer one, under none, we're going to hit the title text that we have here. You guys can see it's now linked just like that. Now go inside of scene setup and you're gonna hit extrude and boom, the title is gonna be inside of here just like so. Now I recommend going over to presets, go under materials and physical and we can drag and drop any of these on here. Let's say you want it to like look like gold. I'm gonna go with the Chrome one here and then I'm gonna hit okay. Now next we're gonna open up custom texture maps and under layer one, under none, we're actually gonna hit the video that we used which is on track 13 here. So we're gonna click that. And now we're going to go back inside of scene setup and we're going to open up this here, click on the Chrome model and then under environment, we're going to click none, hit this arrow here and we're going to hit custom layer one, which is the video that we selected. Now, if we hit OK, you guys can see the texture matches the video perfectly and you get a really cool 3D look. Now, this is just the beginning. If you go inside of group one where the text is, if you open particle replicator and particle look here, you guys can change a lot of what's going on. Let's say we go into multi object here and turn it on. We can then play with rotation random to randomize this and all this stuff is keyframed. Like let's say you want to play with the full rotation of the thing and make it spin like that. You can mess with all of this and I highly recommend you guys drag and drop some like glows on it. Let's say we put deep glow for example on our element layer. You guys can see we get a clean glow just like that or put some grain. Honestly, element 3D is sauce. If you want to go ahead and turn this back on and change the font on this, it will actually apply to the element 3D layer instantly. So I highly recommend you guys go and check out Element 3D or if you guys want some title pack presets that are just drag and drop and you can instantly change the text for your music videos, I recommend going and checking out the link below on Asim's website. You guys can use my code down below to save $5 off. So I highly recommend going and checking that out because all you have to do is change the text, drag and drop it in the video and then boom, you have crazy titles just like this. So go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Shake Sauce 2 and the title presets will be down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.